This is a full moon and a new moon. This occurs when the sun, the moon, and the earth are all lined up. This is a waxing gibbous. This occurs when the sun, the earth, and the moon create an obtuse angle. This is a wanting gibbous. This occurs when the sun, the earth, and the moon create an obtuse angle. This is a first quarter and a third quarter moon. This occurs when the sun, the earth, and the moon create a right angle. This is a waxing crescent. This occurs when the sun, the earth, and the moon create an acute angle. This is a wanting crescent. This occurs when the sun, the earth, and the moon create an acute angle. A total lunar eclipse can only occur at full moon, when Earth blocks the sunlight normally reflected by the moon. Some sunlight is bent through Earth's atmosphere, typically allowing the moon a coppery glow. This diagram, not to scale, looks down on the solar system from above. This is a solar eclipse. This occurs when the moon blocks the sun's rays from Earth. This can only happen during the new moon stage. Tides are periodic rises and falls of large bodies of water. Tides are caused by the gravitational interaction between the Earth and the Moon. The gravitational attraction of the Moon causes the oceans to bulge out in the direction of the Moon. Another bulge occurs on the opposite side since the Earth is also being pulled towards the Moon and away from the water on the far side. Since the Earth is rotating while this is happening, two tides occur each day. This video was done by Anna Atkinson and Brandy Field. I'm a kitty. Kitty kitty. This video was sponsored by Styers Orchard. Thank Yay. you. Yay! <laughs>